Hi everyone, welcome to our diamond educational video. So in this video, we're going to talk about steep deep cut diamonds and how it will affect its appearance. But before that, let me explain to you what steep deep cuts are. When a diamond's crown angle is polished too steep and combined with a deep pavilion angle, it results in a higher depth. Now when a diamond has a long depth, not only will it look smaller for its carat weight, it will have a negative impact on its light performance. As a rule of thumb, we recommend the crown angle not to exceed 35 degrees and the pavilion angle not to be over 41 degrees. We'll be analysing the effects of a steep deep cut diamond on its brilliance and fire. The brilliance, which is the balance of a diamond's brightness and contrast, will be analysed under diffused fluorescent lights, which is an indirect light, similar to typical office lightings, cloudy areas or shaded environments. While the fire, which are the colourful rainbow flashes, will be analysed with a JMAX machine, which uses direct lighting, similar to LED, halogen lights, sunlight or typical shopping mall lights. Over here, we have a steep deep cut diamond on the left and a super ideal cut on the right. The steep deep cut has a crown angle of 35.5 degrees and pavilion angle of 41.2 degrees, while the super ideal cut has a crown angle of 34.5 degrees and pavilion angle of 40.8 degrees. And here are the ASAT scopes. As you can see, the steep deep cut has severe light leakages under the table which causes the middle of the diamond to have a very dark and dull appearance. This is also known as the ring of death. Overall, it will make the diamond look much dimmer and lifeless. If you notice, this is a D color, while the super ideal cut is a F color. Because the super ideal cut has a much stronger light return, it looks much brighter even though it's a lower color grade. Also, you'll notice that the steep deep cut diamond has a lack of contrast, where the arrows are not defined. When a diamond has no contrast, it appears very bland, without any patterning. Furthermore, the contrast also affects the fire, which I'll show you in the next setup. So here we have the JMAX to showcase the fire and scintillation. You can see the 8 arrows of the super ideal cut flaring up, producing those big chunky fire, while there's hardly any fire coming out at all for the steep deep cut. It just looks very muted with very little fire and scintillation. Now I'm going to show you two other diamonds that has either a steep crown or a deep pavilion. I want to show you guys the effect of one of them being too steep. For this 0.51 DVS1 diamond, it has a crown angle of 33 degrees and a pavilion of 41.6 degrees. When only the pavilion angle is deep, you lose out on the contrast in the arrows. You don't really see the ring of death here, but the lack of contrast will make the diamond look very bland. So because of this, the diamond will also have very poor fire as shown under the JMAX. Next up is this 0.56 EVS2 which has a 36.5 degrees crown angle and 40.8 degrees pavilion angle. When the crown is too steep, it will cause light leakages under the table, where the ring of death is very obvious. However, there is still contrast in the arrows, where you can see the black arrows patterning. But because the arrows are black and the light leakages causes the table to be dark, the middle portion of the diamond will just appear very dark, almost like a black hole. However, under the JMAX, the diamond would still retain its fire thanks to its contrast. It's just that under indirect lighting environments, it will lose out. So there you have it guys. In summary, a steep crown angle would cause severe light leakages under the table, also known as the ring of death resulting in lower brightness, while a deep pavilion angle will result in a lack of contrast resulting in lower fire. If both the crown angle and pavilion angles are too high, you'll get a steep deep cut that not only have poor light performance but look smaller in appearance for its carat weight. 
Now you must be wondering, why would then people cut diamonds with steep, deep cuts? Well, this happens when diamond cutters try to retain or maximize the carat weight of the diamond so they can trade it for higher profits. The higher the carat weight, the more money they'll get. However, consumers lose out on this and don't benefit from it at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on why you want to avoid steep deep cut diamonds. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these videos and thank you for watching.